All right. Um, my name is Arvid. I'm going to talk about ta uh, type safe flags. So let's start with this is normally how you would define your flags, I imagine, or at least traditionally before C11. You have an enum. Uh, well, okay, C11. You specify the, the underlying type and then your, your flags. Uh, you use it like this. Um, say you have a variable, uint8. You can OR your enums together. You can have a function that takes a, uh, a uint8. You can OR them together and pass them in. If you don't want to pass a flag at all, like non set, you just pass a zero to that function. Um, if you have a variable, a uint8, you can test whether a flag is set by adding it with one of your flags. Uh, there's a type safety problem. Uh, if you have lots of different kinds of flags in your program, you might want to uh, be extra careful to make sure that you don't ever mix the wrong flags at the wrong, with the wrong field, you know, different uh, flags with different types. Uh, so there's, this is kind of a motivating example. I'm not sure if you can see, but uh, this is converting one category of flags called M into another category of flags, specifically the uh, Win32 create file. Uh, file flags. Uh, there's a bug here. Maybe you can all spot it, but basically you need those uh, parentheses. Uh, because everything after the first colon, it's just integers. Their flags, my flags, everything can just or together. Uh, so uh, this was actually a real bug that I discovered after uh, uh, turning my flags into proper types. So what's the solution? A popular solution is to use an enum class. So that looks like this. You insert class in your enum definition. Uh, you define all the interesting uh, bitwise operators for your enum class. You use it like this. You know, instead of uint8, you say flag, flag t. In this case, uh, you can or them together. You can have a function that takes a flag t. Um, you can pass in your flags. Notice that you can't pass a zero. There's no automatic conversion from uh, integer zero literal to your new flag, so you have to default construct it, which fortunately, if you don't have any other overloads, you can just use the empty braces. Uh, if you have a flag and you want to test, you have a variable of flags and you want to test whether the flag is set, you would like to be able to do this, just and, right, and see if the flag is set, if it's true. Uh, this doesn't work because the result of the AND operator is another flags t. It's not bool. It's not something that's convertible to bool or an int. So it doesn't work in an if expression or if condition. And there's no way to define a free function, a free uh, operator bool, a sort of conversion operator for an EM class. Uh, and th that's, that's in my mind the main drawback. The other drawback is uh, that if you're converting an existing set of flags, uh, the enum class will force you to introduce another scope. So you can't be API compatible. You'll have to change uh, where your flags are defined, specifically inside the enum uh, class scope. Uh, so I'm, I would suggest uh, or recommend using you know, a class to define your flags type. Uh, I'm going to go through uh, what I'm using. Uh, I've removed all the const expert and no except because it, you know, it needs to fit on the slides. Uh, so first, all, uh, first up, you have it's a template. You have an underlying type. You have a tag type. The tag type is the thing that makes each individual uh, flag type unique so that you can't mix them together. It's not used for anything other than to just um, make every flag type uh, distinct, uh, unique. Uh, you have all the regular constructors, assignment, move assignment, uh, comparison. Right, it's a regular type. Uh, there's no less than or greater than it because the flags are just a set. Uh, you have the conversion operators. Uh, you want to be able to explicitly construct it from the underlying type. You want to explicitly be able to convert it to the underlying type. Uh, and you want an explicit bool operator. This is what makes it possible to use this is in uh, if conditions. And then you have all the regular uh, binary operators that you would expect. This is how you use it. Uh, first, you define your flag type. Uh, in this case, the underlying uh, 
integer is u into 8, and then you just say struct color tag, for instance. And uh, instead of enum values, you create static const expers for each flag, say 1, 2, 4. Um, you can create a variable uh, and or your flags together. You can have a function that takes a flag, uh, can all flags together and pass them in. And similarly, there's no zero to say that you don't have any flags. So you have to use the empty braces to uh, default construct the flag. Uh, if you have a flag variable, you can test whether a flag is set with the ampersand. And in this case, since we have the operator bool, it will just work. So it will look good. So the, the other aspect of flags is how do we assign values to our flags? How do we know that we don't accidentally assign, say, more than one bit to some flag or the same bit twice? So if we, for instance, would just use, uh, you know, assign them like this, one to four, it's easy when it's low numbers, but are we sure those last two ones are just represent a single bit? Normally what we do is we align them and we use hexadecimal and then kind of, yeah, it should be one, two, four, eight shifted. Can we do better than, better than this? Uh, we could perhaps use binary literals these days. Uh, it's quite verbose, too verbose to even fit on the slider. Uh, those last two are bit 17 and 18, I believe. Um, so I propose another uh, uh, way of doing this. You can define a bit type. It can't do anything. It represents an integer. The only thing you can do is to create it from an integer and explicitly cast it back to an integer. Uh, we create uh, user-defined a literal operator called bit, for instance, or something else. Uh, and we add another constructor to our flag type that takes a bit and it sets that bit. That's the static cast to get the underlying integer back. Then we can define our flags like this, 0, 1, 2, 17, 18. So we can no longer make the mistake of accidentally assigning two bits. Uh, obviously, we can still assign the same bit to multiple flags, but well, that is all I have. Thank you.